Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this series, we're gonna be going over Pluto in the houses, okay? Pluto in the houses, and in this episode, we're gonna be talking about the seventh house. So having Pluto in your seventh house. Before we get into that, I have to quickly remind you just to check out my music. If you like the little snippet of music in the beginning of this video, that's my new song, Can't Take the Throne. Definitely check it out here on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Music. All you have to do is type my name, Sam Dolphin, and it'll definitely pop up. Um, you can also follow me on my other platform, TikTok, talk okay my name is sam underscore dolphin and then finally if you want to book a reading with me you certainly can all you have to do is email me at sam astral readings at gmail.com sam astral readings at gmail.com i do astrology readings um as well as tarot um and all you have to do is email me there and we can go forward with that so yes um getting back into pluto in the seventh house all right and the first thing i can say about this placement is Pluto in the seventh house is traumatic relationships, okay? Seventh house rules our partnerships, our relationships, how we relate to people and connect with people, kind of like finding your other half in a sense. Um, and when it comes to Pluto being in here, this causes lots of trauma in these partnerships. So whether it be your best friend, um, your romantic partner, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever it is, your um, marriage there's lots of trauma in these partnerships uh, okay and it's gonna be a struggle you know for you with Pluto in the seventh house okay um, I wouldn't even say struggle but definitely a challenge when it comes to relationships because anywhere Pluto is in your chart I always say is where you're getting some serious deep um, negative karma so lessons em especially emotional lessons to the soul that you have to learn so there's lots of deep um, lessons to be learned um, with Pluto in the seventh house when it comes to your relationships. Lots of lessons and it can cause lots and lots of trauma as well too. Emotional obstacles to go over. So it's not easy on the relationships, but it's definitely rewarding when you learn the lesson. So with that being said, deep relationships, okay? Um, Pluto in the seventh house, these are deep relationships. These are not simple bonds. Okay, Pluto in the 7th house people do not make simple relationships. Pluto deals with death, okay? The deepest, going down to your soul. So when you connect with people, you connect with people in a very deep way, okay? Lots of energies being shared, lots of intimacy, okay? Pluto deals with that. Um, and, and lots of deep emotions and feelings. So the bond is very deep, it's very strong, and it can al almost be addicting as well too. Um, but Pluto in 7th house, this is not a type of, like, it's not like your stereotypical seventh house, you know, relationship was all about the romance and just the establishing the partnership, which is usually the romantic part, you know, the fun part where you go on dates, where you like each other, you're attracted. Um, but with Pluto, it, it's going to be deeper. You know, you're going to want these bonds to last forever because of how deep you connect with each other. And it can't be superficial, you know. These aren't people who like um, superficial light relationships, okay? Again, um, and, 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 you know, with the seventh house, you know, Pluto, people with Pluto in the seventh house can view that relationship energy like it's superficial because it's not deep enough, you know, um, because it's the beginning. But again, with Pluto in the seventh house, your style is to approach relationships with depth, okay? So it's like... You're all mine or I don't want you at all. Very Pluto in the seventh house. So very deep relationships. And it could be for, you know, the best or for the worst. Okay. It could be something that you can't get out of because it's too deep, too much drama. Or it could be just a soulmate. Someone you connect to on a, such a soulful level. Someone that you can heal with deeply. Someone you can share your trauma with in a sense. So definitely deep relationships with Pluto in the seventh house. Also with Pluto in the seventh house, there are power struggles in relationships, okay? Pluto is kind of like a bully. I'm just gonna say it flat out. Pluto, Pluto is kind of like a bully because of the way it challenges you. You know, it really wants to um, address and even attack your weaknesses, you know, to kind of put them on blast. But um, with um, Pluto, Pluto deals with power. Okay, and Pluto likes to take people's power away so that you can take it back, so that you can realize that this is your power.
but there's lots of power struggles this power dynamic gets played in relationships okay so a lot of time Pluto and seventh house people they deal with lots of drama in their relationships because of the power struggles so someone trying to take power over you and control you you trying to control the other person and it becoming like this battle back and forth okay so be very mindful and careful of these power struggles, these power games, getting back at someone, someone getting back at you, someone trying to control you in the relationship and, and, and brainwash or manipulate or just control you or you trying to do the same thing, you know, kind of going back and forth, back and forth, you know, lots of themes of power struggles within Pluto 7th house relationships. And it could just be very dramatic, exhausting, draining and... Um, ruin the whole point <laughs> of a relationship which is about kind of coming together and like completing each other's halves you know how can you do that when you're constantly in a power struggle you know and with that power struggle you got to be careful with the type of people that you attract seventh house is the house of magnetism who you attract the type of partners and people that you attract based on what your your relationships and what you relate to so you can attract a lot of people who want to take control over you, okay? Be the boss of you, you know, again with these power struggles and, you know, um, you may find it maybe attractive with Pluto in the seventh house. You may find that energy attractive, but it will certainly get um, toxic after a while because nobody wants to be controlled. <laughs> That's why we all have free will. Um, so, you know, again with Pluto in the seventh house, be very mindful of these power struggles and how they play out. Be aware of the type of people you attract. You can attract a lot of people who want to have power over you. And of, on top of this, you could be the person, okay, Pluto and South House person that likes to control people in your relationships, okay? So when you get into relationships, you like have a motive of, I'm going to control this person. Um, and it could be um, based off of deep insecurities, um, issues of control. So now in your relationships, you want all the control. So... Is it goes both ways. You could be attracting lots of people who want to control you, or you're the type of person that wants to control the people that you get into relationships with too. So, be very mindful of these power struggles. It it, it can turn into lot it, in the worst sense. It can turn into lots of abuse, lots of pain, lots of struggle in your relationships. Okay, because of the back and forth, you know, or causing pain to other people because you're con trying to control other people. You know, so be careful of that because a lot of that is deep rooted into insecurities and a sense of lack of control within the relationships that you've had. Okay, so be very careful of attracting controlling people or controlling people in the relation in your relationships. And also with Pluto in the seventh house, these are very like karmic relationships. Karmic. And what I mean by karmic is a lot of these relationships have purpose within them pluto is all about purpose pluto doesn't just put you into all this dirt and mess just to stress you out pluto's putting you in here so you can transform so you can overcome these obstacles okay and become more powerful become better so a lot of these relationships are karmic um you know if you believe in past lives um because this is how pluto works Pluto is all about transforming the soul. That's why you go through the biggest challenges with Pluto because they're some of the most deepest um, lessons that you have to learn. And if you believe in past lives, it's so deep because it deals with your whole life. It deals with the lives you've lived before. And it's all about in order to transform your behaviors, your actions, your soul, you need to go through these. So a lot of these relationships can feel like lessons. They can be recurring people. Maybe you start a relationship with them first and then it didn't work out. And then years or decades later, you guys come back together and it works out because you have to learn your lessons. Um, it could just feel like destiny when you get into relationships with people um, because there's so many, so many lessons to be learned. So many um, things about you are being challenged to transform you purposely. So again, it's very karmic. It's like a cycle. It's like a cycle of lessons, things that you have to learn. So be very mindful of that, that um, Pluto in the seventh house, it can feel so spiritual. The things that happen in your guys' relationships are so dramatic, so coincidental, so deep that it just feels karmic. And that's because it is. This is all happening for a purpose. You're not just attracting all these different types of people with these 
themes and these lessons that you have to learn about relationships just for the sake of them. They're there to challenge you so that you can become stronger and better, have better boundaries in relationships, be a better person, love yourself more, okay, so that you can track the better person in relationships. So Pluto in seventh house, definitely very karmic relationships. Um, again, like I said, you could date someone and it didn't work out in the beginning of your relationship and then you guys come around decades later. Um, revolving um, themes in your relationships, obstacles that you have to um, pass and learn in order to really level up. It, it's very karmic. It's very intentional. Okay, and, and this karma is to strengthen yourself and make you better at relationships by being better to yourself so that you attract better people. So very karmic in that way. I lie again, Pluto, ha it comes with a purpose. Pluto comes with a purpose. It's not just mess. It's mess you got to clean up. <laughs> Also, codependency, okay? Pluto in the seventh house can cause codependency, okay? Um, and this could be in both aspects. A lot of people think codependency is just the person who's desperate for the other person. Um, but you could also be the type of person who likes your partners, okay, to be codependent on you. So you create a relationship dynamic where it's like the person you're with is going to be codependent on you be reliant on you and that's codependency on you because why do you have to constantly get into relationships where someone's codependent on you it goes both ways you're being codependent too because you need them to be codependent on you um but with that being said codependency is a huge theme of pluto in seventh house okay these relationships um and the trauma or and the deep emotions that go within these relationships causes a strong bond, a strong connection. Okay, this piggybacks to what I said about deep relationships. But they cause a strong bonds, okay, that it really becomes codependency, okay? Relationships can easily become codependency, but with that Pluto energy in that seventh house, it's causing such a deep interaction and connection that you really can become codependent on your partner, okay? And like I said, I don't care if you're on the more submissive end where you're um kind of the one following the person and, and hanging on to the person or if you're the person who gets into relationships with people who are hanging on to you okay either way it's still codependency um on either side okay because at the end of the day you're in a relationship where you either need someone to be tugging on to you okay because you need them to feel like they need you or you're the one tugging onto a person, whatever it is, these are really easy-ish um, manifestations with Pluto in the seventh house because there's such deep bonding, okay? Deep relationships, and it can sometimes feel like you can't get out of the relationship because you're so emotionally connected to the person, soul ties. Um, and this could be good for like the feelings of it, you know, you have a deep connection, but if the person's toxic for you, if they're not good for you, this is not good. All right, so there's a lot of codependency, lots of latching onto people. Maybe if you're a Pluto and Seventh House person, you're dating someone and then you're with someone and then you realize, you know, they're abusive and you don't want to be with them anymore and they're still latching onto you. They still want control over you. They don't want to get rid of you even though they're treating you like they don't even want you. Again, that's the codependency, so... <laughs> It, it could go both ways, you know, so be very careful of that because that's what makes this Pluto Seventh House relationship so difficult and even painful is the, the soul attachment, the soul bonding. And when we talk about Pluto, Pluto is all about bonding the souls like cords. OK, so it'd be hard to disconnect and this can make um, relations, these relationships even more traumatic uh, because when you have to detach, it's hard and it causes lots of pain. So. Be mindful of that, of the people you connect to. And that's why it's good as a Pluto and Seventh House person to be very exclusive about who you connect to, simply because you connect so deeply. You want to make sure that's a person that really cares for you um, and is really going to bring the best uh, out of you. All right. So that's why, again, healing is so important because you can get into a relationship and it's toxic. Not only is it toxic, but it's hard to get out. <laughs> so be careful of the codependency with Pluto in the seventh house. Now, abusive relationships. Yes, Pluto in the seventh house calls for abusive relationships as well too. It can get very negative. Pluto is about 
power struggles, you know, emotional struggles and, and, and trauma and these types of challenges and, and abuse always comes with power, too much of it, okay? So these relationships can get abusive based off of all the deep emotions you feel. There can be lots of rage and anger, um, power controlling people not wanting to leave you and trying to control you, you not wanting someone to leave you, so you're trying to control them. And it can get very abusive. The emotions can run high. It can get physical. So there's abuse that could manifest in Pluto in the seventh house and your relationships as well, too. So you got to be very careful, okay, because um, these energies can get easily become abusive. So that's why Pluto is a very... Um, uh, delicate territory to walk you got to be very mindful you got to protect yourself wherever pluto is just know that there could easily be abuse wherever pluto is in your chart that can easily manifest abuse so you got to know how to protect yourself okay um and and, and and deal with these types of um but the abuse usually happens in pluto when you lack boundaries that's really where the abuse happens because what pluto is trying to teach you is how to not get abused <laughs> You know, that's what Pluto wants you to do. It wants you to take your power back. So in order to not get abused, you need to understand your boundaries, okay? It deals with lots of self-worth and self-love, okay? Before you get into relationships with people, okay? That's how people get into abusive relationships. So you need some strong boundaries here because abuse is a strong manifestation with Pluto in the seventh house, okay? But you can dodge this. You can avoid this. You can transform from this by having self-respect, by having self-love, by having strong boundaries, okay? And, and that takes emotional discipline because a lot of times we don't have boundaries in our relationships because we can be desperate, we can have low self-worth, and Pluto in the seventh house is trying to teach you how to have that worth when you're in relationships. That's why you're going through so much obstacles because it's trying to push it in your head that you need to learn these lessons, all right? So definitely be aware of that. Also, with Pluto in the set at seventh house, Pluto rules sex, but also very deep sex, okay? The emotional bonds you create through sex. So, the, again, this piggybacks to, again, the themes of having a deep relationship, um, definitely a strong sexual relationship with Pluto, uh, Pluto in the seventh house. And that could be a very strong theme for you when it comes to bonding, okay? So, definitely very sexual when it comes to the relationships. You can also attract a lot of people through your sexuality, um, but you have to be careful because the sex can turn very negative, okay? One, you could just be getting attention simply because of that, which is, you know, irritating, annoying because you're not creating relationships, you're just being used for sex. But also, um, it could be, you know, it, it could be um, a, a problem when it comes to wanting a real relationship that has real depth okay um and, and sometimes people can confuse and um, pluto in seventh house can confuse the depth the deepness with sex when really you're just being used for it okay or people just want you for that all right and then you confuse that for having a deep connection and it's really not that's all there is so be very careful with the sexual energy because yes sexual energy is very deep especially pluto sexual energy so it's a big theme within your relationships and it does create a stronger bond also you could be very sexually attractive to people and you attract people a lot that way too but it could be on the other end where all you're attracting are people who just are interested in you sexually um which is degrading um and and just being used and seen for that you're not really creating true bonds true deep bonds okay you might think that that sex is the only way to get close to someone and deep and it's not so you have to be careful with that you want discipline you don't want to be just attractive on a sexual level because even though there's depth to it when we're talking about pluto it can easily turn around and become mainly people using you for that type of power and you can feel drained okay again with the power struggles and the issues so be very careful pluto is all about emotional energy so People should nurture and care for you, for your soul before, um, mostly when it, before of any sexual energy. That should be the main point. So if sex isn't being used in that way, 
it'll be used to empower you and take your power. It's very black and white with Pluto. So it can either empower your relationships and be something that you want because you, um, Pluto seventh house people love a sexual relationship and they love the depth that it brings them and their partner together. But it can also just be people using you just for that. So be careful with that sexual energy because it can get really superficial with Pluto in seventh house. And then you lose all the depth that you actually wanted. Also, when it comes to Pluto in the seventh house, this is a great um, placement for healing relationships. Okay, Pluto people, Plutonians, like Pluto in the seventh house, your relationships are supposed to teach you lessons of how to heal yourself again with value and boundaries and having boundaries because of the way you value yourself so it's a healing of self you know you have this negative karma in your relationships because you need to heal yourself and therefore you'll get better relationships so with pluto and seventh house people they're really good at healing relationships and getting to the core of the issue okay and, and it's their almost karmic duty to heal themselves so that they can have better relationships okay heal their deep wounds so that they can have better relationships with other people so um it's definitely a healing placement it's a placement to do shadow work look at yourself work why am i attracting these types of people why are these people abusing me why do these people always want power over me why do these people only want me for sex what am i doing that's what you need to do with pluto in seventh house because the seventh house is all about reflection it's a mirror so it's even though it's about the other person the seventh house it's really just you it's just a reflection of you <laughs> so the self-worth the self-work healing and, and and that is so important for pluto and seventh house people you need to heal yourselves heal your wounds because through this this is how you have better relationships with people and you'll create better partnerships and relationships that are actually empowering and then on top of that you'll be able to heal other people's relationships so with pluto and seventh house people they're really good um once they heal themselves they're really good at looking at other people's relationships and seeing the problem how to get how to solve it and how to be better so definitely heal yourselves okay also with pluto and seventh house people um these people just the fun fact these people are actually very attractive as well too but sexually on a sexual level there's um when you mix pluto in the seventh house you definitely get that type of sexual magnetic attraction and like i said before be careful if you are only being seen just for that um another thing with pluto in the seventh house is the seventh house isn't just about relationships but it's also about mental energy and intelligence um the seventh house is very logical and mental okay it's ruled by libra so it's about how we use our minds to balance things that's why it deals with relationships because in relationships we're balancing ourselves it's all about a balance that's why the seventh house in libra rules the judicial um the um the court system the judicial system um um that's why the scales are represented um for the um, court system and this is because of balance so um when it comes to your mentality pluto and seventh house people they um are all about justice they're all about fairness and equality but in the deepest level they're because of pluto so they're able to look into the darkness able to look into the taboo able to look into things that are very negative and dark and wrong and find justice for that okay they like to get to the core of things and find justice in them okay they're all about true justice and again with that pluto energy they're not afraid to look in the deep dark shadowy um scary taboo things okay so very much about pluto and seventh house people they're also very good with investigation and getting to the root of something and finding a solution because again Pluto is all about investigation. It's all about the dark side. It's all about seeing the core of someone, of the issue, you know, the core of it. Okay, this is in-depth intuition. But with the seventh house, the seventh house is all about balance. Okay, using your mind to balance things. So you're, it's basically, again, you're looking at these dark taboo things, but you're finding justice in them. How do we balance them out? How do we get rid of these issues? How do we make it fair? How do we find true justice to the core? Okay, so they're very intelligent in that way and they can be really good investigators, really good lawyers, um, because again, they're not afraid of the dirty 
and they're here to find balance in the dark side balancing dark um the things that happen in in, in the dark side and dark energies they want justice for that they're not afraid to go in there and find justice for that so that's a really big thing with pluto in the seventh house you know they could be really good with mediating and healing relationships but also just dealing with dark issues in general things of taboo things of abuse things that all those pluto negative um themes they're able to look into it and find a balance find something just um find justice for it find justice for people who've been abused find justice like they're into that so it's very important to look at it this way because the seventh house isn't just about relationships it's about your mentality and how you balance it and being you have pluto here you're able to balance and find justice for the darkest deepest taboo things and that's so good for our justice system that's so good for like lawyers when they're dealing with like dark situations and stuff like that and finding true justice for it um we're gonna need those type of people who can look into the depths and the in the darkness and the dirtiness of something and, and clean it out and find balance of it so very big thing when it comes to um, pluto and stuff house people they're into justice for the deepest darkest things so yes that's pluto in the seventh house i hope you guys enjoyed that okay very interesting placement okay deep relationships but like i said with these relationships it's all about lessons you got to heal these lessons okay you got to heal yourself so that you can find better relationships okay lots of karma okay but if you do this you'll be able to level up okay and again like i said you guys are very smart you guys have lots of investigating skills you guys can really find balance peace and justice and, and the darkest situations. so don't sleep on that gift as well too <laughs> it's not all about relationships so i hope you guys enjoyed that that is pluto in the seventh house and if you did book a reading with me i do astro astrology readings as well as tarot okay all you have to do is email me at samastroreadings at gmail.com and i'll sure get back with you also check out my music my music videos all of that will be in the link in a link in the description box below and i'll check you guys out on the next video